CIA Paramilitary Operations Officers. What's up everyone? General Discharge here. Today's video is going to be discussing one of the Central Intelligence Agency's most important jobs in its special operations, the CIA Paramilitary Operations Officer. CIA Paramilitary Operations Officers deal with covert, clandestine operations, with many of them considered as black ops. While this line of work is just a tiny sliver of the entire CIA, their efforts make a giant impact for US intelligence and operations. In this video, we're going to go over what you can do as a paramilitary operations officer, the training, requirements, and much more. If you want to know more about paramilitary operations officers, sit back, relax, and enjoy the video. Before we jump into it, make sure to take a moment and show us some love and support by liking our video and subscribing to our channel. Your support is our lifeblood. Do not hesitate to ask us questions in the comment section below. We check everything. Paramilitary Operations Officers, or PMOOs for short, are a select cadre that is motivated by camaraderie and selfless service. These are the guys who possess extensive military tactical experience and sets of specialized skills. They're former special operations personnel, from tier 2 to tier 1 units, who are the tip of the spear in this line of work. They possess all the clandestine skills to collect human intelligence and to recruit assets from among the indigenous troops receiving their training. PMOOs operate in remote locations behind enemy lines to carry out direct action, including raids and sabotage, counterintelligence, guerrilla and unconventional warfare, counterterrorism, and hostage rescue missions. In addition to being able to conduct espionage via human assets. If you don't know, we'll clarify what humans is for you in a minute. PMOOs serve as a distinct occupation in the Directorate of Operations, using their military experience to conduct air, ground, and maritime paramilitary operations, covert action, as well as intelligence collection in austere and dangerous environments. We mentioned the Directorate of Operations, which is also commonly known as the National Clandestine Service. Let's talk about that for a second. The DO is one of the smallest components of the CIA, which only highlights the fact of how small, competitive, and highly regarded PMOOs really are. The Director of Operations serves as the clandestine arm of the CIA and the National Authority for the Coordination, Deconfliction, and Evaluation of Clandestine Operations across the Intelligence Community of the United States. It handles the collection of intelligence acquired by human sources, which is referred to as human intelligence, or humans for short. Humans is the on-paper term for sending people covertly behind enemy lines to gather intelligence and information. When necessary, and under unique circumstances, the CIA conducts covert action as directed by the President. Now that you have a better understanding of where paramilitary operations officers operate under the CIA, let's get back to some more of what they do. Did you know General Discharge has an Instagram? We actively post memes, video updates, and whatever else we feel like. Join the team and follow us at general.discharge. Links in the description. Now back to the video. PMOOs lead and manage covert action programs at the direction of the President of the United States and collect foreign intelligence vital to national security policymakers. As action and results oriented professionals, they take on demanding responsibilities, accept significant personal risk, and maintain accountability for results. They are expected to be leaders and program managers, running paramilitary and intelligence operations in the field. Where else can PMOOs find themselves in? Here's one for you. They can serve in the CIA's equivalent of a US military tier 1 unit, the Special Activity Center. As the primary action arm of the DO, this unit is everything you'd imagine a top secret unit to be. If you want to know more about the Special Activity Center, stick with us to the end and we'll point you in the right direction. Another area PMOOs can serve in is the Global Response Staff, or GRS for short. The Global Response Staff is made up of former members of US Special Operations Forces, or those who have served in SWAT teams. Their mission is to guard spies, but their operations have expanded to include critical security at drone bases, defending special collection elements in the field, and transporting intelligence assets in combat zones. 
While at least half of the GRS consists of contractors, PMOOs can serve as permanent GRS officers. Global response staff teams have become a critical component of conventional espionage, providing protection for case officers who find themselves in missions with a high degree of risk. Okay, so you know a bit about what the US government allows you to know of the CIA's paramilitary operations officers. What about the training they go through? Or how about the requirements to become one? Let's get into it. PMOOs go through the 18-month Clandestine Service Trainee Program, or CST for short. They begin their career spending one to two years learning the foundations of clandestine operational tradecraft via classroom training, practical exercise, and on-the-job experience. If you want to become one of these, you must successfully complete this required foundational training. This is all thought to be performed at The Farm in Camp Peary, Virginia. All in all, as a PMOO, you'll most likely be trained in this. Pause the screen to take a longer look. So what about the requirements? According to the CIA, these are the minimum requirements to be considered. Pause the screen to take a longer look. But wait, there's more. Those were just the minimums. These are the desired qualifications. Pause the screen to take a longer look. As you just saw, to become a CIA paramilitary operations officer is no easy feat, and you're going to most likely have to spend years in a soft unit before you can even think of becoming one. And there you go. You now know more than the average person about what one of the CIA's most secretive and professional jobs it has. If you're interested in learning more about the CIA, we have a recommended reading for you. The book Surprise, Kill, Vanish. The Secret History of CIA Paramilitary Armies, Operators, and Assassins by Annie Jacobson is a book you should definitely go check out. The link for it is in the description below. And before you go, we actually did a video specifically on the CIA Special Activity Center. We definitely recommend you go watch this, as you'll learn a lot about it. The link for it is in the description below. Well, that is the down and dirty of the CIA's paramilitary operations officers. If you learned something from this video, make sure to give us a like and subscribe to our channel. As always, thank you for watching. Do you even want to be here? A big shout out to all of our YouTube members and our patrons over at our Patreon. Thank you all so much for taking the extra step in supporting our channel. It is much appreciated. If you'd like to be featured on a general discharge video, consider joining our membership with the link in the description or the join button to the left of the subscribe button, or go give our Patreon a look and join the team. Here's Nick Nausea. All your friends are subscribing to General Discharge and you don't even want to be here.